Hey guys, this is Vice of the Unique Gamer. Just want to say thank you all for watching, and I'm here to give my review on the latest trailers of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon that has been given to us by Game Freak just about about a day and a half ago. I'll just say a couple. Man, it was recent. So I've watched both of the trailers by both. I meant I watched both of the English and the Japanese. Japanese trailers have some stuff, and it was pretty epic. Japanese really know how to do these trailers, boy. It, made, it is just super. And now, I've also watched the English, like I said, and they've given us more, a little bit more information than what the Japanese would have given. But it's okay. Um, we're going to go straight into the review. Let's go. Okay. From what we see right now, it seems that you could actually journey to different wormholes on either Solgaleo or Nulala depending on which version if you have of course and you get to meet up with the different ultra beasts that live there which will be explained in short order. Okay, very much that's what I was saying about the Ultra Beasts. You get to visit their homelands and you actually get to battle them. Now, here we are with this thing, the Ultra Megalopolis. Um, this place is actually, this is actually pretty lit, no. This place actually looks really neat. This has a, a huge resemblance to Black City. And which one was it? It was black or was it white? I think it was black. Okay, it says a world where Necrozma has stolen the light. In other words, this is this is where Necrozma has infected or I should say enshrouded this particular area, the Ultra Megalopolis, with its darkness by taking their light. And these guys will be explained on who they are in just a little bit. Okay, so they're actually the Ultra Recon Squad. Um, I've also heard people saying that these guys could have been called Team Faller. I don't know about the Team Faller. I just know them now as to the Ultra Recon Squad. Shoots. When I first actually saw them in like the poster, I would probably give them some really cool names like Team Intergalactic. Yeah, you know, like how they had Neo Team Plasma or, you know. I was thinking of like intergalactic stuff like that, maybe, you know, it makes some sense. But um, we have Dulce or Dulce and we got Saucy. These guys will be the ones you'll be facing usually in Ultra Sun and then they have a version for Ultra Moon. Yeah, which is Fico and Solera. Okay, so guys, yeah, Fico and Soliera, let's just go with Soliera, um, these are the ones you'll be facing in Ultra Moon as the exclusive members, but let's move on. I like that how they have like the whole wormhole, Ultra Beast wormhole background thing going on to show that they have some resemblance or they have some sort of connection with them. And speaking of so, and guess who just showed up? A new Ultra Beast along with um, Dulce. And this Ultra Beast is UB adhesive. And I could say that this thing is the most attractive looking Ultra Beast out of all the Ultra Beasts shown so far.
that was Venom Shock. I know that for a fact. But some people keep some people just keep confusing it with a signature attack. But that's Venom Shock. Okay, so now we have UB Burst. Now, in one of my other videos, I've explained that the typing of UB Burst would have been either Fighting and Fairy, but basically only those two. But now it's showing us it's a Fire and Ghost, and yet again, all GBs do have all typings. Dang. So it has its own move called Mind Blown, which I believe could be, well, we don't know. It actually might be a fire type. I'm going to say it's a fire type attack, and that does either recoil damage according to how much damage is dealt, or it literally cuts your HP in half. And now we have UV Assembly. Now, in my next, in my other video along with UV Burst, I also explained that the typings for this could have been either Rock Steel, which is now what it is, a Dark type, a Ground type, or a Ghost type. So I was pretty much right on spot with this. Wow, this is amazing. I am very hyped. The hype chain still continues for these games. These upcoming games, oh my gosh, I cannot wait. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super, super stoked. I am still leaning for Ultra Moon because I've had Moon previously and I am still gonna stick with Ultra Moon. Team Moon, shout out to guys for Ultra Moon. Okay, cool. But without further ado, guys, I just wanna say thank you all for watching. Please like if you enjoyed it. Comment on how I did and comment on some theories and other things that I may have missed out. And subscribe if you haven't and if you're also new. It's probably one thing I probably would like to add. Now, uh, the secrets of this video, according to the things that they've shown, some things might not be included in the story mode. It's like, for example, to be able to travel to the different wormholes. I believe that's something that may be happening at, as a post-game type of event. I could be wrong. But that's just how I see it, because I don't really foresee having us to travel different wormholes like throughout the adventure. Because then, you know what, I don't really have any evidence to back this up. But like I said, this is all just theoretical and we just like to speculate. But if you have any con like any theories, according to that, just leave it in the comment section below. But without further ado guys, peace out.